We've already seen examples of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction mechanisms. Now I want to introduce some of the actual reactions that benzene can undergo in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. The first of these reactions is halogenation of benzene. In these reactions, a halogen atom, such as bromine or chlorine, is substituted in place of one of the hydrogens on the benzene ring. These reactions will have a benzene combining with Br2 or Cl2 and will use FeBr3 or FeCl3 as a catalyst. The FeBr3 and FeCl3 help to create a suitable electrophile that can add to the benzene ring. Another reaction is nitration of benzene. This involves a benzene molecule reacting with a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid, and it ends up substituting a nitro group, NO2, for one of the hydrogens on the benzene ring. The sulfuric acid combines with the nitric acid to form an electrophile known as a nitronium ion. And it's this nitronium ion that serves as the electrophile in the electrophilic aromatic substitution with benzene. Two other reactions can be used to add carbon groups to the benzene ring. The first of these is Friedel-Crafts alkylation, which substitutes an alkyl group, or a CH3 group, for one of the hydrogens on the benzene ring. In this reaction, the benzene ring reacts with an alkyl halide in the presence of AlCl3 to add the alkyl group to the benzene ring. The AlCl3, as in the other reactions, is present to form a better electrophile. In this case, the electrophile is the carbocation formed by the loss of the chloride from the alkyl halide. Friedel-Crafts acylation is a very similar reaction. It also uses AlCl3, but in this case, instead of an alkyl group, we're adding what's known as an acyl group. It has a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, and then that carbon has an R group attached to it. Initially, there's a chlorine attached to the carbonyl carbon as well. The AlCl3 again helps form a carbocation, except this time the carbocation is a carbon that is double bonded to the oxygen. And it is this compound, which is the electrophile, that's added to the benzene ring. The reactions we've seen so far have added substituents to the benzene ring. However, there's two sets of reactions that can be carried out to change the nature of the substituent once it's already on the benzene ring. The first set of these reactions is, is called reduction. And we can reduce compounds by adding hydrogen in the presence of a palladium carbon catalyst. In the first reduction reaction, an acyl group on a benzene ring can be reduced to an alkyl group. So in this example, we have C double bonded to an O with a methyl substituent off of it, and that carbonyl carbon is bonded to the benzene ring. When we reduce it by using hydrogen in the presence of a palladium catalyst, we remove the oxygen and add two hydrogens where the carbon-oxygen bond was. This way, we're changing an acyl group on the benzene ring to an alkyl group on the benzene ring. Another reduction reaction involves changing a nitrate substituent to an amine substituent, or an NH2 group, on the benzene ring. We still use the same H2 in the presence of palladium, and in this case, the nitrobenzene is changed to aniline. The second set of reactions involving substituents is an oxidation reaction. In this case, oxidation is carried out by chromic acid, which is H2CrO4, and it's done in the presence of heat. 
we can start with an alkyl substituent on the benzene ring. And by adding chromic acid in the presence of heat, we can turn the alkyl group into a carboxylic acid, so we end up with benzoic acid. However, this oxidation reaction only works if the alkyl group is a primary or secondary alkyl group. It does not work with tertiary alkyl substituents. The presence of a substituent on a benzene ring can influence what will happen when we try to add a second substituent to the benzene ring. It can do this in two ways. First, the presence of a substituent can affect the rate at which subsequent reactions take place. Substituents that are electron donors to the ring make the ring more reactive to electrophilic aromatic substitution. We call these kind of substituent activating groups. However, substituents that withdraw electrons from the ring make the ring less reactive to electrophilic aromatic substitution and so we call these substituents deactivating groups. Groups can be activating groups based on two different ways. First, they can be inductive through a sigma bond and a not very electronegative atom. They can also donate a lone pair of electrons through resonance even if that atom is electronegative. For example, if we have a methyl group on the benzene ring, this will be an inductive activating group because the methyl group, or any alkyl group, provides electron density to the benzene ring. However, if we have a methoxy group on the benzene ring, this is an activating group through resonance. We can move a pair of electrons from the oxygen in the methoxy group to form a double bond between the carbon and oxygen, and that moves the pi electrons in the benzene ring into one of the carbon atoms in the ring. And these pairs of electrons and negative charge can be moved around the ring so we get many stable resonance forms, and we get extra electron density in the ring. This makes the ring more attractive for electrophilic aromatic substitution. Deactivating groups can also act through either inductive or resonance effects. Deactivating groups could be halogens, which are very electronegative and withdraw electron density from the ring, or they ha could have atoms with a positive charge, such as a nitrogen with a positive charge, which would also inductively pull electron density away from the benzene ring. For substituent groups to be deactivating through resonance, the atom next to the ring is also double bonded to a more electronegative atom. One example of this would be a nitro group uh, as a substituent on the benzene ring. Since the nitrogen is double bonded to one of the oxygens, we can move electrons from the ring to form a double bond with the nitrogen, and then the nitrogen-oxygen pi electrons are donated to one of the oxygens. The positive charge on the benzene ring can then be moved around the ring, and now we have a benzene ring with partial positive charges around it. It now has less electron density, and so the benzene ring will be less attractive to electrophilic species. We've already seen that substituents can affect the rate at which subsequent groups are added to the benzene ring. However, it's also true that substituents can affect where additional groups are added to the benzene ring. First of all, all activating groups will direct new groups to either the ortho or para position relative to the group that is already on the ring. In addition, Halogen atoms, which are slightly de deactivating, but do withdraw electrons from the ring, will also be orthopara directors. The other groups that are deactivating groups will be meta directors. 
Let's look at some examples to see why certain substituents are orthopara or metadirectors. In the first example, let's look at a substituent that has lone pairs of electrons on it. When the electrophile is added to the benzene ring in the first step of the mechanism, we get a carbocation. The carbocation will have a positive charge on the carbon in the ring that's bonded to the sub first substituent. And in other resonance forms, the positive charge will be in the meta position relative to the first substituent. However, with this situation, there's a fourth resonance form that's available where the positive charge is located on the atom that's bonded to the benzene ring. The presence of this fourth resonance form means that there's extra stability present when we have an atom with a lone pair of electrons bonded to the benzene ring. This will also be the case if we have the electrophile added in the para position relative to the first substituent on the ring. Because of this, ortho and para addition of the second electrophile will be much more stable than a meta addition. Alkyl substituents are also activating groups and therefore should be ortho para directors. However, they do not have a lone pair of electrons next to the benzene ring, so they cannot lead to ortho para direction via resonance. Instead, when alkyl groups are a substituent on the benzene ring, if the electrophile adds in an ortho or para position, we get resonance forms in which one of the resonance forms has a tertiary carbocation. The electrophile added in the meta position only produces secondary carbocations. Because tertiary carbocations are more stable than secondary, electrophiles added in the ortho and para position will be more stable and therefore alkyl groups are ortho-para directors.